I welcome you all to Advanced English Language Academy. This is Yasin, your English language instructor. Today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic that is going to help those who are learning English as a second language and those who are preparing for IELTS or PTE test. So please watch your video and don't skip it because it is going to be a very important video for English lovers. So first of all, we need to understand that in IELTS there is an interview section. In PTE also there is an interview section. So the interviewer asks you questions and you will have to answer those questions. So our students and we, non-native speakers, we first of all have problem understanding the question. And then when we understand the question, so then we don't understand how to answer that. So today we're going to help our viewers to understand the question and then after understanding the question, how will they pick an answer? First, when you understand a question, so there are some techniques that you will need to follow to answer them. So it's going to help even the beginners. For example, you are not an advanced level student, so you don't worry about that. Just watch your video and it is going to help a lot. So when the interviewer is asking you a question, so remember that the interviewer is asking you questions in a formal way. He or she will be asking you formal questions. For example, when we are talking to each other, when we are just having a conversation with each other, so we can have informal conversation. But when you are appearing in an interview or in a formal test, so the person must ask you formal questions. So one thing you have to remember that formal questions must have a helping verb. For example, let's suppose I just asked my friend what you did. So this informal conversation I can ask him. But if I'm taking an interview, so I can't ask this direct question that what you did. I will have to add a helping verb or an auxiliary verb to sound more formal. So when a person is taking an interview, so he or she must be asking in a formal way. An interview is a formal thing. It can never be informal. So let's watch the video and let's go to the topic. Let's, let's, let's talk about what we have got today. And so when the question is asked with do, okay? For example, someone asks you a question having do. Where do you live? So when the question is asked with do, so for the first thing that should come into your mind that is that the person is asking about your routine. Okay? For example, what do you do in your free time? So the person is asking about your routine. For example, where do you live? So the person is asking about your permanent residence. Okay? Or for example, if someone says what time do you get up? So the person is asking about your routine. So when the question is asked with do, so you should realize that the person is asking about your routine actions. Okay, whenever there is do in a question, so you should understand that the person is asking about your daily habits or daily routine. So when the question is asked with do, so you have to answer with the first form of verb. Okay. You have to answer with the first form of verb. For example, where do you live? Just look at this example. So when someone asks about, asks a question, when someone asks a question, where do you live? So obviously, when there is do, so you should realize that the person is asking about my permanent residence. So you will need to answer with the first form of verb. I live in Pakistan. So, because do has been used in the question, so the answer will be with the first form of verb. I live in Pakistan. But if someone asks you a question with did, for example, someone asks you a question and the question has the word did. So you should understand that the person is asking about your currently completed activities or your completed actions. Okay? For example, you passed, you passed BS or you did Masters or you did MPhil or PhD or whatever. 
So the person asks you, what did you study? So he or she is asking about the courses that you completed. So when someone uses did in a question, so you should understand that the person is asking about completed actions. And there is also an argument whether he or she is asking about recently completed actions or uh, the, the activities that you have completed long ago. Okay, that's another argument. We'll take another class on that topic. But just remember that whenever someone asks you a question with did, so you have to understand that the person is asking about your currently completed actions, right? What did you study? For example, someone says, I have done BS or I, I did BS or I did MPhil. So you just ask, what did you study? So he or she will tell you about the courses that she completed in university or in college or in school, right? So when a question has did, so what should be the first thing that you should understand? You should understand that the person is asking about your completed actions. So, the second point is when someone asks you a question with did, so you will have to answer with the second form of verb. Okay? For example, what did you study? So, I studied. Because did has been used in the question, so you will have to answer with the second form of verb. I studied. So, because the question has been asked with did, so you will have to answer with the second form of verb. For example, what time do you get up? So, I get up at 6 o'clock. So, that means that the person is asking about my routine actions. But if someone says, what time did you get up? So, I'll tell about my current day. For example, what time do you have breakfast? So, I'll talk about my routine. But if someone says, what time did you have breakfast? So, I'll tell him or her about my current day. Okay? For example, someone asks, what time do you go to school? So that means that the person is asking the question with do, so he or she is asking about my routine action. But, for example, if someone says, what time did you go to school? So that means that the person is asking about my current day. So I'll have to answer with the second form of verb. So the last example, what time do you get up? So that means that the person is asking about my routine actions. So I'll have to answer with the first form of verb and if he or she asks what time did you get up? So I'll have to answer with the second form of verb. So the summary is when someone asks you a question with do, so that means that that person is asking about your routine actions. So you would have to answer with the first form of verb. But if someone asks you a question with did, so that means that the person is asking about your currently completed actions. And you will have to answer with did. So that's what we had here today. Thanks a lot. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe to Advanced English Language Academy and press the bell icon to receive more and updated videos from Advanced English Language Academy. Goodbye for now.